What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today is a kind of bittersweet day for me. Today is gonna be my last opportunity to spend an entire day going around eating all of my favorite local foods here in Spokane. I may only be able to film like one or two more videos here in this nearly empty apartment before Randy and I are relocating to Milwaukee. So I wanted to take this opportunity to go out, eat all of my favorite foods here in Spokane and just have a massive Massive, massive but fun cheat day experience with y'all. I hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, yeah, there's nothing to it but to go out and get us some delicious breakfast. Let's go get us some donuts. So I have been loving on casual Friday donuts and very, very sadly, Amy's Donuts has actually closed and gone out of business here in Spokane. So casual Friday donuts it is and I'm super happy I stopped there because they had some amazing looking treats today and I'm going to start with my favorite, the one and only mother of all donuts, the Cronut. Look at this bad boy. I should say bad girl. She naughty. Look at her. Let's do it. Making a mess in my car. I don't even care. Cheers, y'all. Mm, they made her extra huge today. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> wow. Extra pillowy. They must have a different baker in there today. It's more like yeasted than flaky like normal. Hmm. I'm loving that. That was fantastic. Mm. I'm making a mess. <laughs> that glaze is everything. I got a iced white chocolate mocha to chase these down with. That is creamy. Final bite of the mother of all donuts. Next, we're gonna go with a lemon cake donut. Because I enjoyed their blueberry cake so much last time, I just had to do it. Let's give that a try. Yep. Mm. It just instantly melts in your mouth. Um. It tastes like summer, and I'm a summer baby. Yo. <laughs> the summer vibes are real. I don't know what I like more, the blueberry cake or the lemon cake. What would your favorite be? I'm kind of feeling the vibes of the lemon just because it is summer. But they're both good. That is so yummy. Okay, next up, we're gonna go with the sprinkled vanilla cake. Now, this little beauty is just another classic cake donut, but I wanted to try it because it's just simple and easy. Like I've mentioned in past videos, simple and easy is a real true marker of a good donut shop, so I had to give it a try. Here we go. Whoa. That literally tastes like a birthday cake. I gotta say, cake donuts are slowly growing on me. Mm. They have like a lot of body and character. Mm. I approve. Loving the crunch from the sprinkle. Mm. Beautiful. And this is one of the better white chocolate mochas I've ever had. Mm. It's delightful. Okay, next up, 
I wanted to try one of their vegan donuts. I've had one many moons ago. It was my first ever time going to Casual Friday Donuts and I tried one of their vegan donuts and wasn't impressed. So we're gonna try their vegan maple bar and see if it kind of redeems them on the vegan front. For all you vegans out there, here's to you, cheers. The maple frosting's good. It's a yeast of donut, but it just doesn't melt in your mouth as much as like a normal one. It's kind of, it's, it's dense. It's kind of close textured as they would say on the Great British Bake Off, but it still has a really good flavor, very sweet. There's nothing against it. If you were vegan and this was your only option, I wouldn't complain at all. I just know the difference between that melt in your mouth, traditional yeasted donut, and then this vegan donut. So zero complaints here, that is fabulous. It'll just require extra coffee. Last bite of this one. Life's always good when you're eating donuts. So I have two more donuts left. I'm only gonna do one more of them right now just because one of them is super messy and I'm excited to show it to you, but it would pretty much just stress me out. And I don't wanna be stressed out while I'm eating a donut. That's just not what it's all about. So we're gonna do one last donut. This is the blueberry fritter. And this sucker is big. And because I didn't swing by Scrum Diddly Umptious today, which has my favorite fritters in the whole world, and I've never tried a fritter from Casual Fridays, I figured, gotta do it. So let's break into this. Ooh, I just licked my finger and that was already amazing. Ooh, okay. Give it a try. That blueberry flavor, y'all. Mm. That is delightful. Mm -hmm. They did a really good job and this is super, super yummy, but their fritter game isn't quite as strong as Scrum Diddly Umptious is. So if you're in Spokane, you want a good fritter, definitely Scrum Diddly Umptious still, but this is really good. It is just a little bit more, it kind of reminds me of the texture of the um, vegan donut a little bit. It's a little bit more dense it's not quite as crisp as I would like on the outside, but that is good. And if you just want a one-stop shop, might as well try it all at Casual Friday. I feel like blueberry fritters are like a signature Northwest thing. Just because huckleberries and stuff are so popular here, that's pretty, pretty delightful. Final bite of breakfast here. For now, I've got a skedaddle. I have a podcast coming up in about an hour or so. So I'm gonna get home, get ready for that. <laughs> Wipe my face up a little bit because I feel like I'm covered in frosting, but I will catch you guys for maybe some like brunch slash lunch in a little bit. Cheers to y'all. Final bite of this delicious blueberry fritter. See you soon. All righty. Trade ya. All right. I'm like further away than I could ever be. That's all right. <laughs> Hey, thanks, mate. Take Absolutely. care. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. So it is now lunchtime. I just wrapped up with that amazing podcast. I'm not gonna let you know the name of it just yet. It doesn't release when this video is out. So stay tuned on social media to see which podcast I am talking about, but I'm very, very excited for you guys to hear it. But anywho, for lunch, I stopped by one of well, that was different. I'm not sure where that left off. I just had my first ever camera malfunction with this particular camera. I'm not sure if it was the memory card. I'm just gonna get back into it and hope that all that footage was there. Here we go. Delicious stuff, crispy chicken, full of the tots as well, and like a creamy chipotle sauce. So let's do it. That's amazing. Mm. Their burritos are huge, which is why I cut this thing in half. They're hefty, <laughs> not small. Oh yeah, I love sweet old burrito. The 
little Diet Watermelon Mountain Dew. Ugh, I'm all frazzled after my camera issue. Woosa. Okay, let's try some of these tots. I have some of my own ketchup on the side. I forgot to ask for ketchup. Good crispy tots. They do loaded tots as well. I've never had them though. I just like their tots the way they are. Are y'all team tots, onion rings, or mott sticks? Let me know. Or fries, obviously. Duh. Let's get back in this burrito while it's still nice and warm. It is so loaded with goodness. So much potato, so much chicken. Yummy. When I cut it, I got a little bit of aluminum foil in it because I cut it in the wrapper. I think I got it. Okay, we're good. I just love a good simple burrito and these guys know how to do it. It was between this place and going to De Leon's, which De Leon's is really good. I almost just dipped this in ketchup. That'd probably be okay. Uh, I almost went to De Leon's, but I've been there like so many times on my channel that Sweet Burrito, it had been a while since I've done it. Wanted to revisit these guys and I'm really glad I did because that is yummy. Last delicious top. Mm. Yummo. I have never had the churro at Sweeto Burrito, but I saw it on the menu and I had to try it and it's awesome because it is like stuffed with some sort of like cream. So I'm excited to try it and it's generously coated in sugar and they're very heavy. So here we go. Whoa. That is awesome. The cream isn't overpowering and it's like super warm still. I wonder if it's like a Dolce de Leche. No, cause I think that's normally kind of brown, isn't it? I don't know, but it's really yummy. Some sort of sweet cream. I like that. And texture of the cinnamon sugar, boss. gone too soon. <laughs> All right, now last but not least is this bad mamba jamba right here from Casual Friday Donuts. This is their peanut butter rice crispy treat donut. Look at that. Look at how many toppings there are. That is why I didn't want to do this in the car. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is huge. Like I could hide behind it, play hide and seek with it. I don't even know, but cheers to y'all. Okay, this one's a little disappointing. It might be because I did order it this morning, and so maybe the top got a little bit stale, but. The dough is a little bit dense, and the top is like not crisp, but that could be my fault because I didn't eat this one right away. Excellent flavor though. It has like a strong peanut butter vibe. Rice Krispies add good texture and then you have like the marshmallow and then the chocolate drop. So it almost tastes more like a s'more than a Rice Krispie treat. Pretty good, but not my favorite thing. I'm gonna do one more bite and then I think just kind of leave it so they can save room for things that actually are super exciting. And this is good. I would say like everything that I had today so far from Casual Friday was like at least a seven and a half plus out of 10. And then everything from Sweeto Burrito was like elevated nine, nine out of 10. This is like a low six. So we'll do one last bite and then probably just move on to like a snack or something in a couple hours. Like I said, it's like 11.45. So maybe do like a snack and then a nice big dinner that's fun. And uh, yeah, enjoy some goodness here for the last full day of eating delicious food in Spokane. So final bite here and I will catch you guys at the next snack. Ta-ta. Oh.
officially supper time. I accidentally fell asleep after hitting the gym. <laughs> I passed out. So it is a little bit later than I expected. It's about 4.55 and I decided to order some pizza today from my favorite pizza place, River City Pizza. I just got a plain cheese pizza and they went hard on the cheese here, let me tell you. And then on the side, I did get some of their Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese, which I'm really excited to try. I had eyeballed it in the past, but never actually ordered it. So I'm excited to dig into this. I've been craving cheese. After a long nap, I am ready and hungry and just down to eat. So yeah, it was really unexpected <laughs> taking that power nap after the gym. Ooh, cheese, hold on. Ooh, <laughs> oh my goodness, the cheese. They went hard on the cheese. I ordered extra mozzarella, but this is crazy. Wow. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, and I got it on garlic crust as well. The gobs of cheese though. Mm. This crust is next level. Best classic style pizza in Spokane, hands down. Some ranch to dip it in. If you want crazy gourmet style, style, excuse me, pizza, hit up Flying Goat on the north side. That's where you wanna go be fancy at or show off to your friends. But if you just want like a classic, like watch a game and eat a Zaw, River City Pizza. That is crazy. Just perfect levels of cheesy, ooey gooey goodness. Yeah, that was a really good nap. I'm pretty sure I still have like pillow wrinkles on my face. I just was like, I woke up drooling. It was cute. It was just such a hot day and a good workout. And all those carbs, I was out like a light. That was some tasty Zaw. Okay, now for this giant bowl of mac and cheese. This thing is huge. But I've been looking at it, ooh, cheese pull. I've been looking at ordering this for ages and ages and just never pulled the trigger, so here we go. It's time. Ooh, that is creamy. It almost reminds me of like an Alfredo sauce. I'm sad that I uh, slept on this dish because that is that is rich. Loads of sauce, rich and creamy. Pastas are perfectly the pastas. The <laughs> noodles are perfectly al dente. I believe when it's spirally like that, that's like a rigatoni, right? I don't know. I love food, but I don't know a whole awful lot about it. The cheese has more cheese. Yeah. That hits the spot. Back into some pizza, but I wanna do a pro move and dip the za in the cheese sauce of the mac and cheese. Ooh. Pro move. I don't even know why I ordered extra ranch, just cheese to dip this garlic crust in. That is excellent. That is gone. A little bit of sauciness. 
at the bottom of the bowl, I might use to um, sop up with this crust here. Just look at this. This is just a sheet of extra cheese. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I did order mine with extra cheese. It was just a cheese pizza. I'm okay with it though. If the slices are so big, you can see it on the backside. Or their cheese is so thick, I should say. On the backside, you can see that it's cut. But if you look at the front, you couldn't tell that it was even sliced. <laughs> that is redonkulous. Cheese lovers rejoice. But yeah, y'all, this is a really fun day. I'm glad that I took my last pretty much full free day to do this for you guys and do it for myself and just really enjoy some like nostalgic eats. I feel bad that I took a nap and missed out on doing like maybe one more snack, but it's like 94 out today and eating a lot on a hot day just isn't really that fun. <laughs> and there's no need to go crazy. I still had fun enjoying all my favorites and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And in a way, my main nostalgia and things that I would really enjoy having are like home cooked things. More, more cheese. I'm mostly craving like my grandma's homemade strawberry jam and stuff like that. So little things like that, this stuff can be nostalgic too. Sop up some of this cheese sauce for this last couple bites of pizza. Mm. That is rich. All right, final bite of this delicious favorite foods, final Spokane cheat day. I don't know what I'm gonna call this, but final bite. Had a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Cheers. Oh. Messy. Aside from that clumsy final bite, I'd call today a success. <laughs> well, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this again. I had a lot of fun doing this. All the nostalgia, all the feels. It was a lot of fun to visit some of my favorite places again and just enjoy some of the good stuff and try some new stuff at favorite places as well. So that, uh, that mac and cheese was rather delightful. But as with all things, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I may do some kind of cheat day style videos again while in Milwaukee. You guys have given me a lot of cool restaurant suggestions and ideas that I should hit up and try. So looking forward to the whole new food experiences there as well. As mentioned earlier in the video, I do have maybe one or two more videos that I will be filming here in this apartment. Just some quick like sit down single meals that don't take a whole day to film. So I do hope you guys enjoy those and are on the lookout for those. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed as well. And uh, until the next video. Okay, peace out, bye.